Hi there. So I want to talk about mutations um, because in the cancer biology course, you have to understand mutations. We're going to learn a lot of different mutations and a lot of different genes. So we need to be able to talk about mutations. So these videos are going to introduce how we talk about mutations in genes that are dysregulated in cancer. And now before we can dive into mutations, uh, we would just want to review genes and proteins. And so you can get also used to how I draw these things in my lectures. So when I draw a gene, I'll just usually draw it like this. So I'll draw a little line, a little arrow above it. Um, what does that arrow mean? Um, well, let me show you. Um, that's my shorthand for a gene and a lot of people's shorthand for a gene. So what I'm drawing there, when I draw that is I'm drawing a piece of DNA usually with the name of the gene. Sometimes if I want to draw a uh, sort of larger, I'll draw this box there that refers to the gene or the open reading frame of the gene. And that arrow, the little arrow upstream of the gene, that is the transcription start site. So that is where transcription begins. So you, let's, you've got to remember how genes are structured, the structure of a gene. What is upstream of the gene? What is the nucleotide region upstream of the gene? that uh, helps control gene expression or gene activation or gene transcription. It is called, starts with a P, the promoter region. All right, the promoter region uh, is that region of DNA upstream of a gene. Proteins bind the prom prom promoter region to regulate the transcription of the gene. What are those proteins called? They are called transcription factors. There are other proteins there, but transcription factors are typically the proteins that are binding directly to the promoter, the nucleotide sequence of the promoter. And transcription factors are recruiting other proteins that will lead to the transcription of the gene. What is the enzyme complex that transcribes genes? And it's called, what is it? RNA polymerase. So the RNA polymerase complex here will bind to the uh, transcription start site and it will start transcribing. And so that little arrow typically refers to where a gene is beginning to be transcribed. So in the process of transcription. You recall transcription, that is when the DNA sequence is read and transcribed into mRNA sequence. And then that mRNA sequence is going to be processed usually through splicing. And we're just gonna skip over that part now because we're not gonna talk about splicing. Uh, and the mRNA goes into the cytoplasm and can interact with um, machinery that will translate the mRNA information into protein information. So what is the machinery that tr does translation called? I'll draw it here. What is that? That is a ribosome. All right, so there are free-floating ribosomes in the cytoplasm, or also ribosomes attached to an ER, that's the rough ER. And then the ribosome will translate the information in the mRNA by reading the codons and thus producing amino acids linked together into a polypeptide chain, folds into a protein. So that is a quick review of transcription and translation and the structure of a gene. So again, when I draw a gene, I'm typically drawing that little sort of line with a little arrow above it. And so what I wanted to talk about, and we'll uh, talk about in the next video, are mutations and how mutations in genes can affect proteins. So this was a very quick introduction to structure of genes, sort of a review of transcription and translation. So in the next video, we'll actually talk about mutations, and hopefully you have read the uh, done the reading on the different types of mutations. So in the next video, we're going to see real examples of point mutations.